Hey guys, I just wanted to go over our new ISO 30 tooling options for the AV series spindles. Uh, we have three different uh, tool holders to choose from. We have an ER20 and an ER32 collet. Uh, and we also have a drill chuck, which is super exciting because it lets you use any tool diameter uh, all the way up to half inch and all the way down to as small as you can go. There are advantages and disadvantages to each of the three holders. With the ER20, what you get is a smaller collet nut. So if you're trying to reach into uh, tight spaces or you're doing really deep cuts, then the ER20 nut is gonna give you more clearance uh, and it accepts tools up to half inch in diameter. The ER32 can take tools up to three quarters of an inch in diameter, uh, but you do get a larger collet nut. So if you are worried about clearance or you are worried about the collet nut making contact with the workpiece, uh, then you might want to go with the ER20 option. The drill chuck is super cool because it can take tools from half inch all the way down to super small, uh, which is great for drills because drills come in a bunch of different sizes uh, that you're not always going to be able to find the right collet for that drill. Um, but with this, you can you know cinch it closed or cinch it open, uh, so it can accept any diameter tool, uh, which is which makes this super versatile and super awesome. And then to change tools, unlike our MTC spindles, where you have to use a spanner and then another wrench on the nose of your spindle to loosen up and take your tool out, we can use our handy tool change fixture, which just mounts to any spot on the extrusion of your machine. Uh, you just drop in your tool um, and you just need one wrench. And all you gotta do is loosen up your collet nut. You can take out your tool, put in your new one, and then tighten it back up and it's ready to go back in the spindle. And putting a tool away in your tool rack is super simple. It's basically the same process on your end as doing a manual tool change. Uh, the machine is gonna come forward. You're gonna press your nice big button on your AV spindle. And then the gantry is gonna move back over to the tool rack and put the tool away in the location that you specified. Just like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to make these about once a week, giving you a little behind the scenes look on the development process behind our full ATC system. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to see next, make sure to comment on this video and I'll try to get to it if we've gotten to that stage. Uh, but in the meantime, stay tuned till next week.